Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a no makeup makeup look, a natural look basically, which you can alter according to your likes. Like you can apply less mascara, you can apply more, whatever suits you. This is a very um, easy going makeup that you can wear to the beach, to the malls, to your work, wherever, whenever. It's easy to pair with, I think, all outfits, yeah. And if you're not so comfortable wearing um, really heavy makeup or you want to go for something light, then this is the go-to look. And if you're interested, then let's keep watching. So starting off, I take my um, NYX Angel Veal Primer and I'll be applying this all over my face and neck. And then taking this NYX Stay Matte but Flat Foundation, I chose this over my um, Makeup Forever because it has a lighter coverage and wherever I apply my primer, I'll be applying this foundation. And then taking my Dan Beauty Blender, I'll be gently um, blending this using the rounded part. Then taking this um, Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector, I'll be applying this in small amounts using my fourth finger. Ooh, I like it. I actually got this for free from Sephora as a um, part of the welcome gift into the gold member family. So. I actually see it brightening my face, my eyes. And it's so lightweight. Then moving on, I'll be using my NYX HD Concealer and I'll be applying it on the usual points under my eyes, around it, up in between my eyebrows, on the bridge of my nose, my chin, and just below my cheekbone. Then taking this Sephora Foundation Brush in number 47, I'll be blending it out. Before setting my face using powder, I'll be using this Benefit Stay Don't Stray eyeshadow primer and I'll be applying it in really small amounts on my lid. This isn't even a necessary step because I already applied concealer, but Then taking my Laura Mercier um, Translucent Setting Powder, setting my face using this. And the brush I'm using is a bedhead brush in I don't know what number. Then I'll be using my ColourPop Brow Pot in Jet Set Black to fill in my brow using my MAC 208 brush. Do you guys ever get like a new makeup product that you find so precious and you don't want to use it? Like you just want to treasure it forever? Because I recently just got my um, Zoeva Rose Golden brush set and I don't want to use it. It's so beautiful. I want to save it for like some special occasion or something. Then taking my Too Faced Natural Eyes palette I'll be taking the shade Nude on my Coastal Scents BR250 brush and I'll be applying this on my crease. Then taking this, um, the white shade in Heaven, I'll be applying this on my Sephora concealer brush in number 46 and this will go on my lid but in really small amounts. Then taking the same um, crease brush, I'll be running this down my crease just to make sure everything is blended. To give um, my eyes a bit more of depth, I'll be taking the shade Cashmere Bunny and Sexpresso, right? Yeah, these two shades, mixing it up and applying it on my Masami Shuko 210 brush. And this will be just 
slightly on the outer third of my eye. Once my eyes are done, I'll be tight lining my eyes using my Bourjois Liner Stylo and Ultra Black. After tight lining my eyes, I'll be using this Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil in the number S50. And I'll be drawing over my eyelid, but really slightly because this is anyways very light. Then I'll be using my um, Sephora Outrageous Girl Mascara and I'll be applying just one coat over my lashes but this time I'll go straight from like the roots all the way to the end Can you see the difference? That's one coat and by one coat I mean like one time I stick this in and I just apply all over my lashes just once. Once I'm happy with the eyes, um, and before moving on to my face, I'll be priming my lips using my Maybelline Baby Lips. And then taking my um, Cheek Parade palette, I'll be using Hoola as my bronzer. Every time I open this palette, right, either it's like really scented with perfumes or I know it is but like it smells so good oh and I'll be applying this really lightly like not so heavy because it has to look natural so I apply this on my cheekbone jawline around my forehead and on the sides of my nose. Then taking my favorite highlighting palette, face palette, the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette, I'll be using um, Champagne Pop on my e.l.f. blush brush, which is this one, and this will go just above my cheekbone, but very, very like slightly. Then taking my Zoeva Petite Fan Brush, I'll be using the same shade and running this on the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and on my brow bone. Oh, blush. I forgot. And then taking my MAC Peach Twist Blush, I'll be using this on my BH Cosmetics Powder Brush and applying a really small amount on the apples of my cheek. Then I remove the lip balm and I'll be lining my lips using this Australis lip liner in the shade Misbehave. I heard it's good but let's see, I just got it recently. It's creamier than expected which is good. I actually really like the color and I don't want to apply like lipstick on top but yeah I think I'll apply a nude lipstick probably Bombshell by Huda Beauty I have the mini one I'll be applying a teeny tiny bit of this on my lips And there you go, it's super simple, natural, no makeup kind of look. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to click thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Bye!